This is a beautiful chart inside Interactive Brokers TWS. We want to make it a little bit better and add moving averages to it. Click this plus button to pop it open. Then you want to click on the edit button right there and you want to scroll down to studies. And this is going to give you the ability to add different types of studies to your chart, including the well-respected moving averages. Click that little plus button down there and select the moving average of your choice. For this example, we're going to talk about a simple moving average right here. We're going to click this little button to add it over there. Now you have two options right here. You can either go apply and that's going to populate it into your chart right away. When I click this, you're going to see, boom, it's in there. Now that blue lines in the background, or you click OK. OK actually closes this dialog box. So you have to go back into it if you want to make more changes in the future. Not a big deal. But if we do this, we have to go back into edit, click the button. It's a little bit cumbersome, you know, studies again, go in and now we can change it. So I always want to click apply and make sure what I'm applying makes sense to my chart. We can move this window around and see how it looks behind it before we click OK and get out of this chart. Now the fun part, to customize this, you can go down here and give it a pop of color. Whatever color you want, let's go with yellow in this case for this moving average. And we're going to change the time period from nine days. We can change that to 200, which is a very common type of moving average. We can do that, click apply. You can see that it updated, but the color came in as purple. Why is that? That is a glitch in the matrix, my friend. That is just something that Interactive Brokers does from time to time. You want it to be yellow, not purple. Go back in and click change again. You might have to do this twice before it hits. We're going to go yellow. Okay, apply. Now it's showing yellow. Now we're all good to go. If you want to add one more or several more different moving averages, go down here. We're going to add in an exponential moving average this time. Click that. It's a little bit different than the SMA. We're going to go in there and make this the 50-day. We want this one to be green. Okay, same thing. It didn't change right there. We click it again. We'll go green. Okay, apply. Being a little testy, it came in blue again. Sometimes it does that again. Glitch the matrix. Go back in 50 day. We want this to be 50. Yeah, we want this to be green. Green for the color of money. Apply. Now it's green. And there you go. We're going to add in one more moving average here. And then we're going to be done for this tutorial. Studies, moving averages. We're going to do one more EMA. Add that. That's going to be the nine day. We're going to keep it there. We're going to make this one pink or purple, whichever you prefer. Apply that. It comes in purple. There you go. There's moving averages on the chart and those will change and update in your legend down here. But also this position of these averages lines will change based on the chart type that you pick. If I go from 15 minute candle in this case to five minute candle, the moving averages are going to change. If I go to a one day candle, the moving averages are definitely going to change. And as you zoom out, they're going to change and kind of update as you go through time by time, row by row. Now I do have a secret for you, an even quicker way to add a moving average to the chart. The thing is though, it's going to add in the baseline nine day EMA or SMA. So we want to see this in action, we can do this. First, we're going to go in and edit and take away our nine day EMA right there and remove it from the chart. Look, apply and okay, she's gone. Now the quickest way to get a moving average on your chart, even quicker than going into edit and adding it manually is to right click on the chart, go down to add study, moving average, and then just scroll up there and go to exponential moving average or simple moving average. It's going to default in with the nine day right there. You can see it in the chart, it's showing it up as blue. You can then go back in and change it through the edit panel, or you can also go down here and go with the little gear icon, and that's gonna open the same panel, allow you to do this as well. If you wanna toggle this on or off, just click the check mark, it will make the line disappear. You can also toggle it down here in these little legend areas with the check marks down here. Click the click button right there, it's back on. You wanna take it away. Boom, boom, easy peasy. There you go. Happy trading with your moving averages inside Interactive Brokers Trader Workstation.